but you got to warm up to it. You got to be happy, 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 and then see it. You can't be Henri, 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 where is it? Henri, 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 where is it? Henri, 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 where is it? Henri, 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 Henri. Yeah. Show it to me and I won't be Henri. Show it to me and I won't be Henri. Never works that way. I, I, I truly hear you. <laughs> um, the question is, um, I am gratefully retired and uh, living here in Florida, which I consider paradise and one form of paradise. What is it that you are so grateful that you have cleansed from your experience? <laughs> <laughs> because in gratitude, there always is that cleansing quality. Yeah. Appreciation's pure. Gratitude is glad ah, I'm over that. Yeah. Yeah. I am appreciating mm. you're appreciating freedom rather than freedom. grateful that you're out of the bondage <laughs> <laughs> yes yes appreciating freedom yes um, and uh, would love to have um, finances flow um, so that uh, but wait your finances have been tied to your bondage what are you gonna do about that can't have it both ways I was willing to endure that bondage for money now I've given up the bondage I had to give up the money ah. <laughs> there are people going that doesn't sound like Abraham <laughs> what, what could they possibly mean well we're just saying that a lot of you do you tie you tie your financial well-being with your activity and then you overdo your activity because it takes a lot of activity because you're you're looking for love and finances all in the wrong places <laughs> so instead of looking for alignment you're trying to make it happen through action and then you get overactive and then you try to get more from your action than you can which makes you tired and overwhelmed and that's what makes it feel like bondage and then you're so glad to give that burden up the problem is if your burden is tied to your belief of the flow of money now the flow of money often dries up with the burden and so then later you'll say well just give me a little more burden <laughs> And, and, and so what we're getting at here is you've, you've got to see abundance and money and financial well-being as it really is. You've got to see it. You've, you've got to see it like the air you breathe. It's there for you. You've, you've got to understand that, that not only is your abundance already in your vibrational escrow, but a very comfortable, viable means for it is there too. Now consider this. Let's say... We, we, we're not just speaking for you but for a lot of people let's say that you've been working harder than you want to for your money and while you are grateful for the money and for the well-being that it provides you can feel that there's something out of whack because life is harder than you want it to be mm -hmm. so in that let's call it a struggle even though it's a bit of an exaggeration because you're not only asking for more money but you're asking for more ease and you're asking for more fun and you're asking for more feeling of fulfillment you're you're asking for more abundance but you're asking for more abundance in ease so so in all of that struggle even though most of you beat the drum that won't let it in in that beating the drum of what you don't want the good news is you've put some really wonderful things in vibrational escrow and what we're getting at is not only is the end that you're seeking meaning a big pile of money available to you but the means to the end has also been queued up by you in your vibrational escrow because you've explained to the universe bit by bit the things you don't like to do and the things that you do like to do mm -hmm. in other words I, I want more money but I don't I don't want to beat people out of money so that I can have money mm -hmm. in other words there's all kinds of things that your life experience has caused you to put into your vibrational escrow and that vibrational escrow so the point that we're making is not only does this this vibrational escrow contain the experiences that you want and the state of beings that you want and the state of financial well-being that you want but it also contains a viable path 
that will unfold for you to lead you to all of that but you've got to find somehow some way to now become more and more every day more and more every day a vibrational match to what's in this vibrational escrow so when you talk about the, the the feeling of freedom and what you really mean is the release of bondage when you speak of being grateful for letting go of unwanted rather than appreciative of uh, feel the difference in yeah. the energies of that okay. when when you do that then you're not a vibrational match to what's in your vibrational escrow so it sounds like nitpicking but it isn't it is an essential understanding how can I be a vibrational match to what's in my vibrational escrow and the short version is you have to feel good when you think the thought you're thinking that's how you be a vibrational match so any thought of shortage wouldn't be or any thought of doing something I don't want to do in order to get something I do want wouldn't be right can in you give words? me words um, the, um... I've lived a lot of life and through the life I've lived I have built a magnificent vibrational escrow and sometimes from wherever I stand I get a glimpse of what's in that vibrational escrow and sometimes I can see what's there by knowing that what I'm looking at is the opposite of it and sometimes I can see what's there because I'm knowing what I'm looking at is an exact equivalent of it when I saw the beauty of the Serengeti I knew that in that beautiful moment and all that I felt I was a perfect vibrational match to what's in my vibrational escrow and then when I had a subsequent thought I'd like to do more of this but I can't afford it I could feel that I was in opposition to that thought so it's a matter so I understand we're giving you words I understand that in order to be a vibrational match to what's in my vibrational escrow I just have to feel around and I'll be able to feel through the resonance of my emotions whether I'm finding something that matches or whether I'm fixate, fixated on something that doesn't match you, we, we can feel your powerful desire and often accomplishment of being a vibra being a vibrational match to what you're seeking but you still are like so many people realistic in your awareness of where you are and we just want to say if you could get it that if you could get it that we're not tr we're not trying to get you to find some way whether it's a physical diagnosis or an improved physical condition whether it's a releasing of something that you don't want or an achieving of what you do want we're not trying to get you through this conversation or any conversation to a place where you can say now I get it and now this action will make it so we we're we are not ever trying to guide you to the appropriate action or to the effective action we are only ever and always trying to guide you to an alignment of energies which just means a thought lineup so if we could convince you that all of the effort that we're trying to inspire from you is just about telling a story that feels good while you tell it we're not trying to guide you to an occupation we're not trying to guide you to a windfall we're not trying to guide you to the to the lottery winning lottery ticket we're not trying to guide you to an inheritance we're not trying to guide you to any specific action because that's already taken care of in your vibrational escrow because you've already explained who you are and in what way you would like the money to flow you've already explained all of that it's already in your vibrational escrow we're just trying to guide you to the key to your vibrational escrow we're just trying to guide you to the pleasant thoughts so every moment that you spend basking in the deliciousness of that moment on the Serengeti is such an exercise every time you flash back on a conversation you were having with someone you loved where you loved more and they loved more because of the moment in time that you were sharing you're using that as your excuse to line up you're just what you're really looking for is more excuses to tune your receiver to this frequency of your vibrational escrow it has nothing to do with what you do and has everything to do with how you feel everything to do with how you feel so you turn on the television and you get a strong dose of reality does that help you tune to what's going on over here no you look through a photo album and you see pleasant memories does that help you yes it does yes. you you hear from someone that this was an uplifting movie and you go and your heart soars was that was that beneficial yes indeed it was 
just don't ask the world to give it to you and you know we think that the deep-seated resentment that almost every one of you has and you do you don't want to admit that you are resentful but you are do you know why you feel resentment because you know how good it is and you're not letting yourself at it and at deep levels you can't believe that you do that to yourself so it must be <laughs> it must be George Bush's fault <laughs> Or it must be the economy or it must be my parents or it must be that belief that was hammered into me or it must be my inadequacy or it must be your inadequacy so you spend your life trying to figure out how to justify the resentment that you feel that is so uncomfortable because you know it should be better and we just want you to find thoughts that feel like the better that you know it should be that's all just find thoughts that feel like the better that it should be just find thoughts that feel like the better it should be nothing to do only things to think nothing to do only things to say nothing and why do you do it and say it and think it because it feels better in the doing it and thinking it and saying it that's all really I just have to I just have to feel better that's it feeling better matches you up with this do you believe in this yes do you believe the vibrational escrow is there you yeah. got it you got to look around look around at this planet do you have you have you're brilliant you're beautiful you're magnificent but you have not figured out how to scrape enough dirt together to launch into orbit for another planet in other words you gotta know there's something bigger going on you gotta know that there are universal forces happen you gotta know the power of thought you've got to know that that broader perspective exists you've got to know that you do know that and when you separate from it you don't feel so good so we're just saying you can line up with good feeling thoughts much more easily than you think and when you do things shift think a different thought just because you want to feel good find a different emotion which means you've shifted your vibration and your relationship with your vibrational escrow will shift enough that different people will walk into your experience different experiences different amounts of money different experiences different everything shift your vibration the slightest little bit and everything in your experience shifts to match the difference because the indicator always shifts when the vibration shifts so do you need validation to shift it what more excuse do you need this is the thing that the source within you is saying you don't have to justify your good thought just find a good thought I don't think I should think a good thought <laughs> there's so many people suffering I don't think I don't think I should think happy thoughts as long as there are sad people and we say you can't get poor enough to help poor people become prosperous or sick enough to help sick people become well you cannot become confused enough to bring clarity to the world you can only lead through the clarity of your example you got to get inside your vibrational escrow it's a vibrational escrow get in there and feel what's in there and when you get in there once you get in there it will all start dawning on you and you'll begin to remember who you are not who you were before you were born who you have become since you've been here do you believe that there is in fact a vibrational prepaving version of you what do you think deja vu is deja vu is the feeling that you're now living something that you knew was coming in other words there is a version of you that is already fully blown ready to manifest that is realer than the real that you know is real all you got to do is find some thoughts that feel good and let the universe show you the details of it don't you really want to see the vibrational indicator of your vibrational escrow appearing in your life experience yes don't don't you want to have a moment of such brilliance that you know you're there yes don't you want to have a moment of such humor that you know you're there don't you want your timing to just be so very 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 good that you know you're there yes. don't you want that feeling of elation don't you want to look at the waitress in Cracker Barrel and love her so much that you want to take her home with you yes <laughs> Don't, don't you don't you want to be who you really are all you got to do is reach for some thoughts that feel better some thoughts that feel better just got to train yourself train yourself into alignment with who you are little by little by little by little by little by little thank you yes indeed and you